Welcome to Zombie Division. It's just a little uh, math analogy that I came up that I thought was kind of unique enough to put uh, and post uh, in case it could help anybody with their understanding of fractions and how they relate with uh, division. So if we have a fraction problem, typically you call it the numerator on top, denominator on the bottom. Well, the way I see it, the bottom is a zombie and the top is a human. And what happens with that uh, human is that the zombie, of course, wants to consume the human. They want to divide the human. So if you see the zombie on the bottom, the zombie is trying to crawl up out of the ground and consume the human. So what happens then is that you have a zombie trying to break into a house to consume a human. And when that happens, you're really thinking to yourself, okay, so if I have a zombie, and in this case my zombie happens to be uh, the number, um, say, four. And there are four zombies, and uh, there are, say, eight humans. Okay, there's four zombies, eight humans. And what happens then is that those four zombies want to climb out of the ground and eat the eight humans. Okay? When they do that, after they have consumed after these zombies are trying to break into, they successfully break into the house, how many pieces is each zombie going to get? How many people, if you divided it evenly, the zombies are fair. You know zombies are always fair. They don't want to get their friends or their brethren mad. So they say, hey, um, we broke into the house. Each one of us should get two of the eight people in the house. Don't you think that's cool? And so zombies are always fair. And say, sure, sure, sure. So um, four... Uh, we got four zombies, eight people. Eight divided by four zombies. Eight people divided by four zombies equals two people per zombie. What a healthy, fulfilling meal for the four zombies there. But what would happen if, for example, it wasn't that plentiful? There wasn't a plethora of human uh, meat to consume. Then we would have to say something along the lines of, there were two people but four zombies. And the four zombies are going to try to divide the two people. Oh, really? Oh, man. The meal's not going to be quite as fulfilling, will it? So we're going to have the four zombies, and they will be rewarded, sure enough. I'm sure that if there were two people in the house, that those four zombies would still be able to eke out a pretty good meal. Because four... Um, zombies breaking into a house of two people, obviously if everyone's going to get a sh fair share, you know, two zombies, four people, we're going to have to do some real dividing here. Okay, um, two divided by four is going to, of course, need a decimal point. You're going to have to raise a decimal point here because a decimal point is going to denote uh, a portion of a whole number. And so the whole number is, there were two whole numbers here. And so what we're going to do here is say, well, four is going to go into 20 five times and by fifth grade every child knows that 0 0.5 or should know that 0 0.5 is one half. Okay, so in that case, one half, see four goes into uh, 25 times, you got the 20 here and you go subtract, you get zero here. And this is the portion that each zombie is going to get, a half of a person. Now whether you decide to divide your two people, you know, I don't know how, how you want to divide your two people is going to have to be, you know, very fair. Maybe one of the zombies, they're not going to be happy people, okay? One of the zombies likes to, to get the arms in the head. This is kind of graphic, but it kind of, you know, sweetens the deal and makes up for some conflicts. We have a real story there. And so we got four zombies, okay? And the four zombies... It's like, oh, I'm going to take this half. And this zombie says, well, you know what? Let's divide them this way. And I'm going to take that half. And this is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And I want to take, you know, you get that half. I get that half to consume. And, you know, for some reason, this guy just likes the legs. Kind of like how some people like the chicken legs, the chicken drums, but they don't like to eat the breast meat or the torso. So that's how you get it. Zombie division. Woo! Nice little analogy for some people that have a difficult time remembering how to divide a fraction to reach a decimal.